Well, here I am in the center of Tallinn. This is Estonia, the town of uh, the country of Estonia. This is the capital. This is the town hall. It's snowing a little bit. It's um, end of November, and they're setting up, as you can see, the wonderful Christmas tree for the holidays. Normally, the square is wide open, but they have some huts here, uh, to little huts for sell souvenirs and all that kind of stuff for the holiday season. It's a wonderful time of year to come here. It's very romantic, uh, the old town of Tallinn. It's a charming place, and you should come to see uh, where I'm standing here today. Anyway, one of the charming things about Tallinn is that it has these cute little streets that go down here, and there's very few cars. Uh, i got to watch my step here because it's very icy. But uh, they have these really cute nooks and crannies. It's a great to check this place out in the winter. Look at this kind of like a medieval door that is one of the original gates into the city. So this one is like, uh, fortified. And you can see right here, this gentleman, he's going straight up the stairs there. And uh, down this way is another quiet, again, the complete silence, just footsteps. Wonderful. And these guys, you know, they're enjoying all the snow coming down. A lot of blondes here, by the way. That's, uh, Estonia is known for its blondes. All the snow is now stopping that guy from putting up that cross up there. And it's another lovely day in Estonia, as you can see. Well, you can see the wonderful snow coming down and the uh, romantic wonderful uh, touch that they have. The beautiful streets of Tallinn where people dominate. There are very few cars that actually go around these streets. The streets are very narrow. They're um, cobblestone streets. It's not really made for uh, cars. It's made for people. I am so pissed. They sent me to the wrong place. I told my travel agent I want to go to Thailand, not Tallinn. And here I am freezing my butt off. I've been warm beaches. Tallinn has some wonderful town, uh, sights to see. Here we are on Peak Street. And you can see people use umbrellas even in the wintertime here. Uh, they're popular. And here's the beautiful clock on the wall as the snow continues to fall. <laughs> and here we are in one of the cute little streets. You can see how narrow it is. Very pedestrian friendly just like it is in Venice. Only the sound of footsteps out here. You can see the snow coming down. Uh, not that, one of the things that's cool about this wonderful tower here, is you can see all the way at the very top, they have a little funny dude. Kind of whimsical. I wonder if I should ask these guys how they feel about global warming. If they're, what their opinion is on the matter. Do you guys like global warming? Now uh, these wonderful nice little passageways that lead you out to here. It's one of these wonderful streets here. The snow is coming down. My hands are shivering a little bit because I'm a little bit cold. But it has some wonderful tombstones here. Again, think about how quiet it is out here. Uh, you can see here the snow coming down. Well, all the vendors, no matter how cold it gets out here in Tallinn, right here along the old city wall, they're out there selling their wares. Well, it's kind of snowing here a little bit, and you can see it doesn't really stop the vendors. In fact, they probably make some good money here because everybody wants to buy their warm clothes. And uh, during this kind of time of year. Rain or shine, they're, they're out here. Rain, shine, or snow. This is the wonderful opening of Tallinn. Sorry for the uh, sound or the McDonald's here on the corner. It's a very famous McDonald's. Everybody likes to meet there. And you can see out there is the town hall. And it's really coming down with some snow here, as you can see. It's uh, dumping big time. And it's really quite pleasant. Um, a lot of people don't vacation in Europe, and certainly not Eastern Europe, because of the snow and the conditions and all that stuff and how dark it is. But on the other hand, it's really a magical place when it comes down here, especially if you've got a good campsite. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> got a nice place to stay so uh, come out here come to Eastern Europe don't worry about the, the conditions 
These beautiful buildings were actually built during the time of Joseph Stalin in the 1950s. And they're very uh, structurally sound. And they can survive the heavy winter conditions. And they've been doing great. And they're actually beautifully are uh, structures as well. And she's having fun. She just can't wait for the summer, I suspect. Apparently it seems that Estonia has not gotten the memo that global warming is at hand. Here we are November 21st and it is, well, not the best day to get a tan, but it's beautiful and I encourage you all to visit Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, the Baltic states, and Eastern Europe in general. Even if it's snowing, even if it's winter, it's okay. It's a great, beautiful place.